Let's dream. Let's play Partners in Time! Good morning, everybody. It's Min and Beyond. Welcome to my Let's Play of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time for the Nintendo DS. The Mario RPGs are something incredibly special to say the absolute least. It's not just one singular type of side series that the Mario universe does, they have different categories of RPGs. Of course, Super Mario RPG is the one that started it all, and it remains to this day as one of the greatest games of all time. The Paper Mario series does something entirely different with some incredible storytelling and incredible, well-developed characters that have such deep and amazing stories. But then there's the Mario & Luigi series, which does something entirely different as well, and I'm so incredibly happy to finally be able to share that with you on this channel. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get things started in Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. Really, really long ago, way far out in space, in a dark, dank place shunned by starlight, there was this creepy planet floating alone. The beings of this world were creepy. They spent their time staring creepily into space. He's just standing there menacingly! Just creepy daydreamers, right? Wrong! They were searching, searching for a new home. At last, they fixed their creepy gazes on a distant world, a land of beauty and peace. Oh! Young Masters Mario and Luigi! I've anxiously awaited your arrival! Yes, indeed, the princess craves playmates, I'm afraid. She's rather tantrum-y. Press up on the D-pad to walk to the room where she waits. Please, go to her at once. I would critique you for being kind of handholdy, telling us how to walk in a video game, but we're babies in the moment, so I'll let it pass by this time. So yes, we're starting the game off in the past. We are playing as Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. I guess we'll go ahead and heed Toadsworth's warning and head on over to the princess and show her some playtime, I guess. Uh, are we playing All the Toads Are Dead? That's my favorite game. I say, what's this hullabaloo? What, do, what of the princess? <laughs> I, Prince Bowser, am taking Princess Peach with me. You two babies can scram. Absolute nonsense! I rather think that you'll do no such thing. On guard! <laughs> Your turn, Super Diaper Bro. That's the greatest victory cry ever saying, Go! to start a battle. So, each character has the certain button that's assigned to them, as we'll see when we progress through the game. But for Baby Mario specifically, we use the X button. And the only thing we can do right now is jump. Now, just like with Super Mario RPG and uh, Paper Mario, if you press the button at a certain time in the fight, you could go ahead and do extra damage. So you want to press the X button as soon as you land on Baby Bowser to get more damage. And you're going to want to press the X button to dodge, which I am terrible at, apparently just crawls on over here. Yon Master Mario! I know I'm not actually a baby, but we're in the past right now. Maybe I am a baby, because I have a, a crawling thing. I'm wearing a diaper, but you've got a mustache, so it's a little bit awkward, but I'm going to crawl in. Maybe I'm just old and in pain. Sorry about fainting a moment ago. Is this your first battle? Oh, a baby's first battle. They grow up so fast. Shall I perhaps instruct you on action commands? Uh, I just sort of explained it all pretty quickly, so I don't think so. I think we're good. Oh, truly? Very well, Yon Master Mario. You are the Yon Master! So, like I said, you're just going to want to press X as soon as you land on it to do more damage. 
And there you go. That's the timing for dodging the attack. Every enemy has like a different dodging animation. Drat! I almost forgot or a different way you want to dodge. So the game is very tactical. I would say this is the most, uh, the Mario and Luigi games are the most difficult of the Mario RPGs. So if you want a really big challenge, then this game is the one for you. You can also dodge on Master Bowser's Flames. Well, it may not seem like it's giving you a challenge because they keep on giving you all these tutorials, but no, we're good. At least we can skip them. Very well, Master Mario. You are the Unmaster. Bond dodging. Oh, no! Jump on him one more time. And dodge the fire. Riveting gameplay, indeed. Egg. Blah. I'm, I'm a prince. I can't lose to you. <laughs> Baby Luigi did literally stink in nothing. Now I'll have to celebrate with us. Hello. Oh, that sound effect. Oh my god, it's all rushing back to me now. This was actually like my third DS game, so a lot of memories are just coming back to me all at once. I have not played it in a very long time, but hopefully I'll still remember the ropes of it all. And we're getting taken back to the present. Meanwhile, thousands of uh, years ahead, famed inventor Professor E. Gadd has completed his time machine. The machine's energy source, the amazing Cobalt Star. The unveiling took place at Peach's Castle and was seen by luminaries from far and far, from near and far. I can't read. Princess Peach was reportedly overjoyed by the contraption. So overjoyed, in fact, that she promptly set off on a voyage to the Mushroom Kingdom's past. Of course, her able ward Toadsworth is beside himself with worry. Details at 11. I like that the sinking news is documenting Toadsworth's sinking panic attacks. Princess! Please return, your majesty! I say, I am simply beside myself with worry! Hey, <laughs> No need to worry yourself. My machine's safe as can be. Why, there's a 99.999999999% chance the princess will return. The horror! Oh no, Toadsworth! Toadsworth, wake up! Toadsworth! Wow, he worries himself so hard he KO'd himself! Mario, I'm pretty sure Toadsworth has a refresh room in his room! Think you can go get it? What's up, Lakitu? One direct feed cloud cam view of Peach's castle coming up! Yeah, just like Mario 64, Lakitu's showing us uh, all of our surroundings. Here's Mario's current location. Then the refresh room is over here in Toadsworth's quarters. Oh, and by the way, this icon always shows Mario's current location. The icon won't move while you're moving around in a room, but when you go into another room, the icon will also move to the new room. Kinda wish it did move along in the room that you were in as well, because the rooms can get pretty big later on, but whatever, minor detail. If you lose track of Mario or don't know where to go, just dig, just... Or just dig the top screen. It's like, wait, just dig the top screen? For no, we just dig the top screen. Look up here to find whatever you seek. All right, Mario, we're counting on you. Oh, yeah. The refresh room is in a block in Toadsworth's room. You can't miss it. To remove it from the block, stand beneath it and jump up. That usually works. How's your jumping coming on, huh? Yeah. Looking good from where I'm standing. Good luck. Uh, the good old A button, that's better. So we graduated from X button to A button at some point throughout the years. Uh, Luigi, you gonna be able to handle this? Alright, so that's one of everyone's favorite things about this game is that Mario and Luigi speak in very hilarious gibberish, which is very hilarious. Tazworth, wake up! Tazworth! Princess! Jeez, this game sure is dark. We like five minutes into it and somebody's already dead. So we're just gonna make our way through here. This game does like to take advantage of the top and bottom screen a lot, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about editing this thing. I don't know if I'll go with like a simple layout or if I'm gonna try and make it uh, finagle and move its way around the screen to where it's appropriate for cutscenes and all that jazz, but uh, we'll see what it what hap ends up happening. Uh, this right here is a save album. Anyone who's played Paper Mario or Mario RPG or just has common sense should understand what this does. It saves the game for you. How riveting. 
And over here, there is a heart block. I believe there's only, the only one that exists is in Peach's castle. It restores your HP. I could be wrong about that. It comes back eventually. Yeah, there you go. So they might be more throughout the game, but part of me feels like there's only one here in Peach's castle for like when you finish up an adventure. I don't really know, but we don't have to really worry about that right now because we are at full HP and we could just sort of go about our business. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explore the castle just a little bit right now while we're going through here. Talk to all the toads along the way, see if they have anything interesting for us. Though, it's mostly going to be tutorials. But I'm also going to answer the most common question that I'm sure everyone's going to have right off the bat. Why am I let's play Mario & Luigi Partners in Time first and not uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, the first Mario & Luigi game? Well, Partners in Time was actually the first one I ever played. Here's this button right here. We get a refresh room. Just wanted to make note of that little jingles because it's very important. Uh, but yeah, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time was... He has a picture of Peach. This was my first Mario and Luigi game. I did not play Partners of uh, Superstar Saga until... I think after the third game, I finally got a hold of a copy of Superstar Saga. And for the longest time, Superstar Saga was like this obscure game that like I kept on trying to figure out what it was. Because I saw kids like uh, in second grade or on the playground playing it on their Game Boy Advance. But it was before I had a Game Boy Advance. so And I had like no friends back then, so they would never tell me what the game was. I just knew it as that game where Mario and Luigi dance on the screen a lot from time to time. Uh, but yeah, it's something that I always wanted to figure out what it was. Uh, we got a one-up mushroom right here. Very nice to have that right off the bat. And there was a 10 coin in there. What I really like about this game is that uh, it's not just uh, one coins you find in the uh, coin blocks. You end up finding coins that give you 5 or 10, sometimes even 50 or 100, which is really cool. But yeah, it took me forever to figure out what Superstar Saga was because I just saw it, uh, glimpses of it but could never actually get a hold of one. But then I played Partners in Time and absolutely loved it. But going from Partners in Time to Superstar Saga, I just couldn't get into it for whatever reason. It just wasn't all that interesting. Not that it wasn't interesting, but like I feel like this game did have a lot of improvements from the original game that it makes it sort of difficult to go back and play the first one. So I can't really find enjoyment out of the first one unless I started with the first one like everyone else did, unfortunately. So I probably won't be doing a Let's Play of Superstar Saga. I've beaten it once, and I think that's enough for me. So... I more so wanted to show off this game because it's a lot more important to me and I have a lot more fond memories with it, so that's why I'm starting with this one. I don't really think it's a Let's Player's job to play every single game in a series just for the sake of saying that you did it. I just want to play the games that I know I'm going to enjoy most of the time. Um, but yeah, if you want to see a Let's Play of Superstar Saga, my friend Sephiroth1204 is actually Let's Playing the remake right now on his channel and he adores that game, so I'm sure he could do a much better Let's Play of that than I ever could, so be sure to check him out. Toadsworth! Any final words? Can I have your cane? Jeez, Toad. Princess. Doctor, speak, man! Will Toadsworth recover? I'm a doctor, so I have a, I have a dignified voice. Oh, the prognosis is grim. I'm afraid our dear Toadsworth has worried himself into a state of shroom shock. Without the restorative properties of a refresh room, there's naught we can do. Toadsworth! They put him on a stinking hospital bed that has stinking wheels. They could have just taken him to his room him themselves and gotten the refresh room, but no, they're just gonna pretend he's at risk of dying. And he's alive! Huzzah! Now he's deceased crab. Well, take a gander at that. The time machine's returned. Something's amiss, though. What could have gone wrong? Oh, princess, welcome home! Your majesty, I've been fraught with! Wait, Master Luigi! Some things never change. Defending the castle once again, this time with the A button because that is Mario's main method of attacking. Same thing as before, just land the attack at the same time and you're good to go. Something kind of interesting about this enemy, however, is that he attacks with physical attacks. So when you are dodging attacks, you can actually jump on him and do damage during his turn, which is really nice, instead of just dodging it normally. Uh, we do not need any tips on action commands. I see you very well, Master Mario. You are the master. Yeah, no longer the young master. We are seasoned veteran. 
go ahead and do the jump. And that's what you're going to do. It doesn't do uh, quite as much damage, but whatever. There's no timed attack, so you don't have to do like the time jump with the counter attack. It's just doing damage, period. Almost forgot. You could also dodge enemy attacks. Uh, I do not need to know about that. Would you then care to hear about counter attack? No, thank you. Very well, Master Mario. You are the unmaster. Or the old master. Or I'd rather like to say experienced master myself, but whatever. Gonna keep on jumping. Going to do a counter attack once again. And one more hit ought to do it. There we go. And because this guy wasn't a, ma a major character, he disintegrated as soon as we defeated him, but Baby Bowser stayed behind. And Mario got to level up to level two. So in this game, you have HP, attack, defense, speed, and stash, which all get upgraded uh, after every level up. But then you get to choose which uh, stat you want to give an extra increase to. So uh, whenever you uh, choose one, you see a little roulette going around, and then you could... Uh, if you don't really like the numbers or the odds, then you could just cancel out of it. The more you avoid a certain stat, the uh, higher that the numbers go in the next level. So, like, if I focus on increasing HP over and over again, I could increase... I could go to the POW uh, spinner, and it will have much higher numbers on it because I haven't been upgrading it lately, so it gives me higher chances. So, don't upgrade the same things all at the same time more in very frequently, if you know what I'm saying. So... I just sort of go about whichever one looks good at the time, but since we're just starting out, let's go ahead and give ourselves some more HP. Why not? Give ourselves 3 HP. No sign of the princess! No! 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 That awful monster! Just take her easy now. She wasn't this feather's breakfast. My DS time radar puts Peach somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom of yesteryear. Time radar? Time radar? You just made that up! Where'd this monster come from then? That I don't know. And with the time machine all dinged up, we're not going anywhere. Ow, ow, ow. What's that? Calm down and speak slowly. A mysterious hole has appeared in the garden? Hmm, it's possible the return of the machine tore holes in the time in the time continuum. Very chill about all this. To the garden, fellers. Teleport, Egad. Okay. Ah, Luigi, are you on your way to the garden? Oh, yeah. Instead, how about you stand guard and keep the thing from escaping and eating everyone? Oh, no. Oh, I see. Well, if you'd rather not, I guess I can't force you to do it or anything. Who knows what the future holds, though? Could be, you might face even worse things. Oh, hey, so tell me, are your jumps gonna hold as well as Mario's? Because he's the best, and you're kind of crummy. I hate you, by the way. Yeah. yeah, listen, no offense, but next to Mario, that just seems underwhelming. Know what I mean? Show what I mean, Mario. I swear that wasn't me just being funny and pressing the B button lightly. The game forces you into doing that weak jump just to sort of make fun of Luigi. Yeah. Because it's always the fun thing to do. Seriously, Luigi, try jumping like Mario. You need more intensity or something. Huh. Wow, that was super. That was a great jump, worthy of Mario himself. You really are, Earth brothers. Hey, you better hustle out to the garden. Okay, now that's taken care of, we can't talk to this thing, unfortunately, but now we have control of Luigi. He's going to be our main companion throughout the entire game, as if the title Mario and Luigi didn't tell you that already. And, of course, you'll be controlling Luigi with the B button. I don't think we actually have any HP that we lost during that fight, but it couldn't hurt to just hit the block regardless. Head on down here. Ah, as I suspected, it's a time hole! Yes siree, this time hole is a doorway to the past. No doubt about it, it appeared because of that time machine. This can't possibly lead to anything dangerous. Careful there, young feller. If I'm right, that time hole leads back in time. No, I thought it led us to Dairy Queen. Yep, to a younger Mushroom Kingdom. Question is, to where in the Mushroom Kingdom? Maybe it's the Dairy Queen of the past. The other question is, if a feller were to jump in, could he even make it back? Hmm, use this time hole to rescue the princess. Hmm, now there's an idea. I'd bet dollars to donuts that's our best chance at saving her. My 
Master Mario! Irony! Eh, it's just Luigi. We're fine. Master Mario! The princess! Where is Princess Peach? I love you. Toadsworth doesn't even care that Luigi just went back in time. And what were those lights? And what is that odd hole? I demand answers, sir. I don't know about you and your odd holes, but I got a brother to save. Let's -a go. Master Mario! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh my god, I don't know why, but like the graphics on the time hole thing right down here, I always thought it looked super impressive and just, like, super different from the rest of the game. I just always looked at, like how it looked. It looks like Sherbert or something. But yeah, where the heck are we exactly? We ended up in an unfamiliar land in an unfamiliar time. Hello. Watch the leather, Professor. No need for the shoving. Oh, you must be Mario. According to the professor, there should be a Luigi here as well, but I don't. Mm. Oh my, are you Luigi? I... sorry about that. <laughs> I am pleased to meet you. I am known as Stuffwell. Professor Egad invented me. I am what is called a suitcase. Thank you for informing me of what a suitcase is. The professor sent me back in time to be your assistant. Yes, assistant is accurate. I'm more than just uh, some place to store your belongings. I have many complex sensors and various memory apparatus for data re re retention and... Uh... <gasps> well, suffice to say, I'm a very technological by contraption standards. I'll be a big help. Why don't we get started by having you go ahead and open me up? Simply press start. So, unfortunately, he's not an actual party member. He is literally just our inventory. Mario and Luigi are the only characters that you actually play as in a Mario and Luigi game. With some extra exceptions, but you'll probably... You probably know what I am. What it is I'm referring to. Yes, please note that I can be loaded with all manner of doodads and widgets. What I want to know is, how the heck is it that you're able to be inside of yourself? You're, like, we're in the trunk right now, but you're standing inside of the trunk. I don't understand. It's like when we were inside Mumbo's hat, and then Raven was inside Mumbo's hat, inside Mumbo's hat. It's all just so confusing. <sighs> but yes, he's going to explain to us all the things that are in the trunk. So if I say, I can certainly carry all your items. Equipment is something that we're going to get into later. Bro's info, which just shows you your stats. And that's about it for now. I can have your intention on the top screen. I like the little keychains of the bros. This is how much time's passed since you started your adventure. All full of danger and whatnot. This right here is the number of coins you're carrying. And finally, direct your gaze here to a sneak peek at your uh, streamlined statistics. It speaks in a lot of fancy wordplay that's gonna be just oh so joyous for me to try and read because as we all know, I am the greatest of readers when it comes to big old words well that wraps up my self introductional i eagerly await our working together press b or initiate press b to initiate my closing minification cycle and store me back to adventure <laughs> Luigi. Oh, I think I love their voices so stinking much. But yes, we have been taken into the past and our adventure begins. No real uh, delay in the adventure or getting things started. We are already on our way to save Princess Peach in the past. And I think this will be a good time to end things off. Yeah, speaking of delays, I'm the one who's going to be causing them this time. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time... We are going to climb up this mountain and head towards the mysterious unknown land of Holly Jolly Village. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.